did some research, uh, we looked on the internet, and then we found the Printed Nest uh, open source 3D printing um, uh, endeavor, which is which is going on around the world, which hadn't been printed in South Africa yet, and we thought we could integrate um, circuitry into that, and, and um, basically then take the Printed Nest and then allow it to generate some sort of data. Um, I've been enjoying the teamwork a lot and been able to interact with people on a consistent basis to develop uh, the idea that we had in our, our work. Um, and also I think that working with different groups from around Africa is, is a really, really powerful idea. Regardless of whether like some of the labware works or not, I think that that, that is actually more or as valuable. But, um, there's a sort of idea in, in, in sort of labs that you know, if you have a machine that you bought from some biotech company or whoever, and that when it breaks, you sort of need to leave it there, and you buy another one, or you get a technician to come and fix it, or you have to wait for somebody to come from, you know, a different city. Whereas I think with this, it really does show you that, you know, when you look inside sort of um, machinery and various things, they're a lot simpler than what you think. And so, you know, you open it up and you go like, well, there's ten wires. Which one's not working? And, and you know, I, obviously some machinery and some some things that wouldn't work. But I think that sort of looking at, at how you can fix things starts can start from here. And also, how you can then look at systems that you can build, you know, and solve solutions that you can use with open open hardware, open source, which which maybe the machinery doesn't exist. So yeah, I guess it just makes you feel like there's infinite possibilities of what you can do, you know, and that's quite empowering. Yeah. And I there's so many resources as well. Yeah, to. and I think it, yeah, it's quite it's quite cool for a developing country to feel that empowerment mm -hmm. because most of the time we'll end up thinking, okay, we don't have funds to get that equipment, or we have to import these expensive like machines from Europe because they're not manufactured in South Africa, and it's just quite yeah. It's quite cool. It's I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I would say start off with manageable chunks. Mm -hmm. Start yeah. off with what you know you can do, so you don't sort of throw down your tools and kind of give up. Like start with something manageable. Start with a project that's been done before. Um, start with things that you that you kind of know the science behind it if you can. Um, I wouldn't start with a new project with new code if you can. Mm -hmm. So start off with something that's been done. Try and copy it learn or learn by what watching other people and then try and you know take it further i think, I think that would be my advice uh, i'd also say like the group work is really essential like yeah. what what one of us would lack in skills the other one's better at and mm. just able to like make a more complete set of like knowledge and skills and just mm. makes it way easier sure. mm. our project it allows for the um, individual identification of tag birds and then looking at at um, weight gain, um, momentary weight gain, but then you can plot that over time for the individual.